Hello friends, welcome back to my blog. This is my first entry of day two. I'm at the Blackpool Victoria Hospital and I'm on my night shift as a registrar in the Department of Pediatrics where I work. Through the early night we have seen some patients on the children's assessment unit and about half an hour back I was called to the emergency department to see a two-month-old baby who was presented with clear signs of a common cold but because she has a temperature and she's quite young we will keep her in the department for a little more time and make sure that she's all right. While we are here let me just take you on a small walk down the main corridor of the hospital. It's completely quiet it's about half past two in the morning and we will be walking to the pediatric department as we go on. Keep watching. Okay, so this is part of the pediatric department walk. Uh, on the back side is the very long corridor of the main corridor of the hospital on its ground floor. About halfway down there when you turn right, you can get to the emergency department. And this way is the way to pediatric ward. Let me just open one of the doors and show you the, the main entrance of the hospital, which is beyond those brown doors. This is the main entrance of the hospital. It's a beautiful main entrance. Up there are the administrator offices and the place where the CEOs and the other big honchos sit. This here is a rest area for employees who can come here and have lunch and chit chat with their friends. There's also a similar area there beyond that banister. And then these are the escalators that go down to the main lobby of the hospital where there are some shops as well. There's a pharmacy just around the corner there. And those are the revolving doors which are shut after 10 p.m. which allow people to come into the hospital. All right, so we are going to go back the way we came. On the way back, I can show you that this staircase up goes to the main restaurant of the hospital where subsidized food is available to employees and the normal charges are taken from those who are visitors, patients, and others. Back to the pediatrics we go, this way, and then this way. So this is the corridor that has a beautiful visual here for hand washing, and this easy to understand logo on the other side you got some nice photographs taken by some of the inspired workers in the hospital and uh, this continues beyond these doors onto the other side as well you can see some more pictures here And then we continue to walk forward to our right is the wing that goes into the cardiology department, which is a very major department in the hospital. And it's a referral center for the entire Northwest region where everything is done except cardiac transplants. And this signboard shows where the women and children's unit is. So this is an integrated unit which has maternity and pediatrics all in the same wing of the hospital. And what we are going towards is the pediatric ward. I'm just adding this intercession to say that uh, between the time of the previous video and the next one, four and a half hours of intense work followed and therefore there was no video or any further descriptions. 
it's early morning now on the 2nd of April it's about 7 45 a.m. and I'm in the doctor's room in the pediatric ward waiting for the morning team to come over and take over from me this is the doctor's office which I'm going to show you now doctor's office has a bank of lockers for the doctors a moderate sized refrigerator a bank of computers lots of chairs and a huge pile of files it also has a mini pantry tea coffee a coffee machine and a notice board as well there is a place where people can hang their coats I must say that I have been responsible for a lot of the changes in this office including installation of two of these six computers six of these eight chairs the microwave oven and the entire bank of lockers which I have arranged for the doctors to use hello I'm finished my night duty I'm now in the hospital's restaurant for a quick breakfast I had three hash browns one banana and one half fried egg with a cup of tea and I'm done so this is what is the hospital's restaurant you can see it's quite big the serving counters are over there where they have trays the menu the breakfast then there are some other counters like the payment counter where the lady in the corner takes the payment the counter where they where you can get your cutlery and tissue paper and stuff and then all these are tables that are spread across the restaurant at the far end there is a deli bar where they serve sandwiches and other toasted stuff in the afternoon at lunch time and behind me are just some more tables to complete the restaurant go. and there as well so that is the restaurant it's not Oliver's restaurant and I've been eating here off and on since I've been in Blackpool the food is possible I did manage to introduce the halal uh, items here about three years ago and uh, now the restaurant uh, serves one halal item every day at lunch um, on my blog uh, day two I'm here at the uh, Holy Cross Parish Church uh, to celebrate an afternoon with uh, the members of the Fine Coast Hindu Society uh, of which I am a member. People have just finishing their lunches. I arrived a little late because of my night shift. There are a lot of British people as well who are here and uh, some of them are people that I am seeing for the first time. On the other hand, I have also got a lot of Indians who I've been knowing since years together with whom I've interacted on many many occasions these afternoons are uh, sponsored by funds received from the Blackpool Council and uh, it usually consists of uh, people getting together having some lunch without paying anything towards it and then uh, interacting with each other in a social kind of bonhomme and uh, the one of the activities that always happens is a, a game of housey and as you can see I have uh, purchased these five housey tickets uh, and uh, we'll try to get some loose change and basically have fun. One and eight, eighteen hours. I think I should come out eighteen. So we just played a game of housey. Uh, Luck, un unluckily, I didn't win. The whole strip of all nine, 90 numbers consists of six strips or like six uh, housey cards, and uh, they were selling them for two pounds. The game was played very energetically by everybody around here, and uh, there was a prize for the first line and a prize for the full house. Unfortunately, none of them came to me. <laughs> Uh, the people are now gathered and are considering playing cards and I hope to join them as well. Hi.
just uh, updating this blog to say that I have been to the home bargain store and I have uh, purchased some garden pots I don't have a garden but I do have a balcony upon which I can put these pots and I'll show you them now okay so just to show you the pots that I bought this is called a spring planter it has four or five different kinds of plants in it including some daffodils that look really beautiful or maybe they are narcissus flowers uh, there is also a white flower there that I can't identify and some colorful leaf flowers as well I've also purchased this which is nothing but a kind of assorted uh, planter for I believe uh, primroses and I really love this color because it is uh, a very brilliant dark brown with a yellow center love it absolutely love it and this was just for two pounds 99 so good value for money just an update to say that I have uh, the plans to go to the Stanley Park for a little bit of bird feeding and photography now uh, it's about uh, 4 15 p.m. in the evening still lots of sunlight everywhere and I think it will be a good evening that I'll be spending Right, so on my second day of the vlog, this is what I've received from Google Maps for doing all those reviews and uh, sending photographs and sharing my experiences with others. Google Maps has decided to reward me with this Google pin, which I am wearing now. It's a beautiful metal pin with the logo of Google Maps on it. I hope you like it as much as I did. Thank you. So there I am, uh, right opposite the water body. This is a beautiful water body in the uh, eastern end of the Stanley Park. You can see some lovely calm waters all around. There's a, a pedestrian bridge there, which always makes for lovely pictures. Down here, there are some picnic tables. Uh, nobody sat there though unfortunately and then you have all these daffodils all around me daffodils grow wildly not requiring a human hand just God's own creation and these are all around the park as uh, I will continue to show you when I go through different sections here on this side as well you can see lots and lots of daffodils uh, right here and here as well plenty of them literally in their hundreds in just this small section but probably in their thousands all throughout the park
In this, the last part of today's blog, I want to tell you what happened after I returned from Stanley Park. Dr. Adil invited me over to his place for dinner and I had a wonderful chicken pulao, some Waldorf-like apple salad and a hot cup of tea along with some eggplant bajias. So that was a wonderful end to the day. After that, I've been just doing this preparation for publishing this blog. But it's been a very, very busy day, just like yesterday was. Thank you all for watching. And if you do like this whole idea, please like and subscribe to my blog and get other people to watch it as well. Thank you so much.